top basketball league in the world. On view tonight, it's best players. Welcome to Screen Sports coverage of the NBA All-Star Game. Mike Carlson introduces the two teams, starting with the Eastern Conference. And the center for the East, Patrick Ewing from Georgetown University and the New York Knickerbockers. At forward, the man who is both immovable object and irresistible force, Sir Charles Barkley. The fans voted Larry Bird to the other starting forward spot, but his back is still injured, and Michael Adams takes his place on the roster Scotty Pippen takes Bird's place in the starting lineup. NBA. Starting point guard, Indiana University, Detroit Pistons, Isaiah Thomas. And the other guard is a guy named Jordan. Hi, I'm Michael Jordan. Come fly with me on the European Sports Network. Over in the Western Conference, the center from the University of the Naval Academy in the United States, San Antonio Spurs, David Robinson. Chris Mullen, St. John's University, Golden State Warriors. They call him the mailman because he delivers Carl Malone from the Utah Jazz. Wow. Voted to the starting lineup by the fans, Tim Hardaway from the Golden State Warriors. Second all-star in NBA history to be known as the Glide, Clyde the Glide Drexler. Whoa. Taking Tim Hardaway's spot in the starting lineup, Irvin Magic Johnson. Watch the matches of the NBA. So watch the European Sports Network. Wow. 
If you like basketball out of the very top draw, you've come to the right place. Screen Sport brings you live coverage of NBA showpiece, the All-Star Game, in which the top players in the league put on a show not only for the fans in the Orlando Arena, arena rather, but also for thousands of people watching these pictures around the game. With me, Mike Carlson, Mike, the team news. Yeah, they're introducing the starting teams, and there you see Scotty Pippen, who's going to replace Larry Bird at forward for the Eastern team. They introduced Charles Barkley and Patrick Ewing, the forward and the center, respectively. We should get a good game here because, in a funny way, Pippen helps the East team match up better with the West than Bird would have. Of course, all the uh, stories that have been written in the press this week is about Magic Johnson. A great atmosphere. Oh, it's unbelievable, bringing, bringing Magic back, and certainly the fans are behind him 100%. For those of you who don't know the story, Magic Johnson did not play this season. He announced in November that he was suffering from HIV virus. He was going to take the rest of the year off. He was going to work to publicize AIDS research and to work on behalf of AIDS victims. But he was voted, in fact, onto the All-Star team by the fans, even though he wasn't playing. He's going to be starting in this game. And, of course, he also wants to play on the U.S. Olympic team. And how about this guy, Michael Jordan, a legend in the NBA? A legend in his own time, our time, your time. Michael Jordan is the best basketball player probably the planet has ever seen. Mike, how serious do these players take it? Is it just a showpiece, or is there a good deal of competition between the East and the West? There is a good deal of competition. Uh, the players take the game rather seriously, but you won't see a whole lot of defense being played. Nobody wants to get hurt. Nobody wants to hurt anybody else. So you'll basically see the guys being able to do what they want. It'll look kind of like the Indiana Pacers taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. And how do they uh, appoint the head coach? As we see here, Don Nelson from the Golden State Warriors. Right, and those are his two assistants, one of whom is his son, also called Don Nelson, but with a second N to um, distinguish him from his father. Basically, the two head coaches are the coaches whose teams have the best record at the All-Star break. They generally bring along their own staff as assistant coaches, and that's what's happened uh, for both these teams. In fact, uh, Phil Jackson has Tex Winter, the, uh, the veteran coach who's really responsible for that tremendous defense that the uh, Chicago Bulls play. You are just saying a moment ago, Mike, that you don't expect a great deal of defense by either the East or the West. Does that mean we're going to have a very high-scoring game? All-star games usually are high-scoring. Most of them have been. And what you find in these games also is that point guards tend to be the big stars because the job of the point guard is to penetrate. And normally when people are playing really tight D, they shut off that penetration by the point guard. In these games, they let him go. They tend to score a lot of points. Um, Isaiah Thomas has been MVP in this game. Going way back to Adrian Smith the, of the Royals, it's been a big game for guards. Being introduced now to the Western Conference All-Star team. And we saw, there's Dikembe Mutombo, a rookie just out of Georgetown from Zaire, a late bloomer as a basketball player. But he's come in and he's just, he just missed being elected to the starting team by about 5,000 votes in the fans' balloting. And he's had a tremendous year at Denver, confounding all the expectations. And he was drafted fourth in the amateur draft. Three teams are really regretting they didn't take him. And the Nigerian here? Akim Olajuwon, and Mutombo is from uh, Zaire, Olajuwon from Nigeria. And I tell you, basketball is, is taking her off around the world, and it's not long before African teams will be competing in the Olympics and uh, getting medals. John Stockton from Utah, the guard. I love this guy. Uh, we'll talk about the Olympic uh, team before, but in 84, Stockton was the last guy cut from the U.S. Olympic team. People I know who were at those trials tell me that apart from Michael Jordan, he was the best player there and Otis Thorpe, and it's nice to see a guy like Otis Thorpe getting some recognition. He came out of Providence College. He's been a banger underneath. He's worked really hard for his whole NBA career. He scores points, he gets rebounds, but he's always played in somebody's shadow. He's never played on too many really good teams. It's good to see him get some recognition from the coaches around the league. The coaches select the rest of the teams by the rest of the teams and by ballot the after the fans have picked the starting lineup. And forward, a five-time All-Star who currently holds the highest All-Star game scoring average in history with 22 points per game. The leading vote getter in the Western Conference from the Utah Jazz, the mailman, Carl Malone. 
Home Alone is six foot nine. He weighs about 250 pounds. He runs. His whole game is running up the court. Now, a real contrast to this guy, Chris Mullen, who's about six foot six, six foot seven. Not very fast at all, and has a lot of herky jerky moves to the basket. He, he fakes and you up in the air, he moves past you, sidesteps you, good shot. Career. He's the turned his career around since shot. problems with alcohol abuse. The league's top ten in five categories from the San Antonio Spurs, David Robinson. David Robinson was the center on the 88 Olympic team that lost to the Soviets, took the bronze medal, star. and he's going to be trying for another chance at that medal in 1992 in, in Barcelona. We'll be talking about that later on in the program. From Portland, the guard. Clyde Drexler, a tremendous, tremendous and offensive player. Lager, now, I mean, Magic looks pretty pretty subdued for himself. Now, I think the, the moment is getting to him a little bit here, but you should hear a huge round of applause for this guy. Let's hear it. One of the greatest players of all time, making his 12th All-Star game appearance, Urban Magic Johnson! It's hard to conceive what's going through his mind at the moment, Magic Johnson. You know, this is this is what he does. This is what he's there to do: is play basketball. And you know, it's it's no exaggeration to say that when the N when the NBA was having a, a hard time, Magic Johnson and Larry Bird saved the NBA. They brought it back to the popularity that it has now. They set the stage for Michael Jordan. And even at 32, this guy is still still a great basketball player. The world's first six foot nine point guard. How big a blow is it to the NBA that he has decided not to play this year and probably will never play again in the NBA? Well, it, it hurts them a bit. The league itself is very strong now, and they can afford to lose a superstar like Johnson because there's plenty of others now coming up to take his place. Um, and he's, his role as a spokesman for the league continues. The Lakers, it hurts quite a bit, although Mike Dunleavy's done a tremendous job coaching just to keep them in contention. Uh, he's also lost Vlade Divac, the Yugoslav who's played center for them for most of the season. So without Divac and without Johnson, you would have thought the Lakers would have gone into a tailspin. And Dunleavy's kept their head well above water. Do you expect him to be as prominent in this All-Star game as he has in previous All-Star games? That's a really good question because he hasn't played any competitive basketball now in, in about uh, six months. He's probably a bit out of tune. This is the kind of game he could do well in. And I'm, you watch, I don't think anybody's going to be giving him a really hard time defensively. These pictures coming to you live from the Orlando Arena. We're getting set for the NBA All-Star Game. Starting fives already on court side. A very welcome sight for any basketball fan. Yeah, and you saw from last year's highlights the kind of game that it is, and it's, it's a bit relaxed, and even the players are enjoying the show from each other. Let's cross now to the Orlando Arena for commentary of this match from Dick Enberg and Mike Fratello. Number 42 underway, and Magic touches it first. Ewing to Isaiah. Scotty Pippen. Michael blocked by Clyde Drexler. And that's normally the routine that Michael Jordan does. Come from behind your head, take the ball out of their hands. That time, Clyde returned the favor. Jordan with Drexler. And the mailman has his first stamp on a rebound. Magic Johnson surveying the floor, and it's Drexler outside. Malone working on Charles Barkley. Malone, Jeff Mullen inside. Chris Mullen with a beautiful touch. As the West team, their practice, their one session, uh, involved much more passing and drilling, and uh, it appeared Don Nelson really wanted to work on that quick pass concept. Well, two ends of the spectrum as far as the practices go, as Patrick Ewing does what he does so well, knock out, face up, jump shots. They actually went hard in practice yesterday, and one of the big reasons Don Nelson said was to see how hard Magic could go, and he said, I think Magic really wanted to see for himself. Now Magic's been running, he says, four miles a day and working against Kareem in practice, misses his shot, goes back up, and is fouled. It, during the practice yesterday, you saw a transition, you saw a three on two, you saw, you saw defensive plays. Nelson was determined to make the guys work. You'll see constant movement by both teams, but particularly the West, because that's Don Nelson's style. And I think Magic here is trying to build up his offensive rebounds in the game. 
Magic Johnson, uh, some most impressive numbers, of course, the assist total, the all-time high in the NBA. Michael Jordan committed the foul, and uh, Magic converts two, and the West leads by a deuce. Boy, a lot of beef there, and Barkley goes around Malone, but can't connect. Malone rebounds. Magic with a 40-foot pass to Drexler, and it's Mullen open. The former St. John's All-America, Chris Mullen, has four. Answering at the other end is Isaiah Thomas. And that's exactly what they'd like to do, establish this type of tempo, get the crowd into it, and Magic comes right back and answers with his transition score. That's just what you said you'd look for the first five minutes, Isaiah and Magic getting these two teams on the run. They were off to a slow start. Remember last year in Charlotte, Michael Jordan! Just adding one more to the highlight film. Interception by Isaiah Thomas. Numbers aren't there. What a pass to Jordan. But Robinson said, uh-uh. Robinson out on Zeke. Yeah, first Michael said, no, I'll think twice about it. Then Zeke said, I'll think twice about it also. And Robinson, who's one of the leaders in steals in the NBA. And it's Malone at the other end. But what a play defensively by David Robinson. It's really hard to, to understand how much ground he covers, how quick he is for a person of his size. He's fourth in the league in steals. Ewing inside to connect and a foul. Isaiah Thomas taking it right at his good buddy. Magic and then the switch of the hands at the end. So good around the basket, Isaiah. And then right back at you. Magic doesn't give him a chance to turn around, blows it down the floor and converts. Ewing fouled by Drexler, going after the three-point play, and not there. It's 10-8 West as Robinson collects the rebound, and here comes Magic. A little give and go to Robinson, and he's fouled by Barkley, who, despite his uh, bullish nature on offense, really doesn't commit many fouls. Very low count average. It's just a little over two a game. Well, generally, when you commit fouls, you're playing defense, and Charles will be the first to admit, <laughs> I am not in this league to be a defensive <laughs> stopper. He just looks like he should be. Foul number 32, Charles Barkley. Robinson. In his introduction, the only all-star here in the top ten in five categories. Ninth in scoring, averaging just under 23, and pretty good free throw shooter, but misses both here. 10-8 as the East goes for a tie or more. Pippen behind a pick by Barkley, and can he fly to the hole? As Johnny Bach told us, he may be the best in finishing way above the rim since Dr. J. I mean, he really elevates. Clyde Drexler over the top, stolen by Robinson, and he is fouled. You talk about getting up above the rim. Once he turns the corner and particularly likes to go right, he is up so high above, even difficult for Patrick Ewing to get a piece or a David Robinson or whoever else might want to step up and take a shot at it. And Pippen, one of the great stories, uh, inspiring from Central Arkansas. Ewing with a foul. He went to college on a football managerial uh, project uh, scholarship. And uh, they said, well, you're not a bad basketball player. Why don't you give that a go? And here he is, one of the premier stars in the game. West by two. Fast pace beginning here in Orlando. 8.40 left in the opening quarter, and it's Barkley with Robinson. And Robinson denying the baseline. Because of the limited amount of practice time, you'll see the one or two set plays that the coaches have put in, but usually at the end, you see the one-on-one -on -one like that. Individual talent take over. Eye contact with Michael, and he has four. At the other end, Drexler to Robinson. And a foul, Ewing is second. This is the man, the man of the hour, the man they're looking for. If you take your eye off him, they'll just throw the thing up in the air, and he'll elevate. Tough to stay with him. Had a long chat with his father a couple days ago. And he said that uh, as a youngster, really thought Michael was going to be a baseball star, that he was an outstanding shortstop and pitcher. He said actually it was because he grew so much that his baseball uniform didn't look good on him. His legs were too long for the pants. And he went for style and two basketballs of the good graces of all the rest of us. West by one. 
Dippen misfires on a toss to Jordan. This may be hard to, to believe, but the East squad actually looks small compared to the West squad at his size, the body width, etc. Mullen, and it's Ewing with a steal. To Isaiah Thomas. Pippen. Pippen has four, and the pass too tall for Robinson. Carl Malone likes the idea of being in the middle of the break, but the touch pass isn't quite as easy as you think it is to make. One of the great abilities of the Western team is that they can switch because they're so similar in size, everyone. Ewing over Magic, and the East lead now by three. A 8-0 run for the Eastern All-Stars. Magic hooking over Zeke, his close buddy, 16-15. Well, that'll bring back memories of his rookie year in the playoffs against the 76ers when he went inside and led the Lakers to the title. Jordan. He had no shot, nowhere to go, but found the way. Magic. The table tennis match, end to end. Robinson to Mullen with Drexler with him. And Malone gets the gift. And the West back on top. 19-18. Great early action. Michael Jordan punctuating the greatness of these players with this move. The ability to take off on one side of the lane and finish on the other. Well, I can't wait to get home to try it out in my backyard. Six consecutive years. Went to North Carolina, as Daddy said, because Dean Smith was the only coach that recruited him that wouldn't promise him he'd start as a freshman. Everyone else did. And uh, Michael took it as the challenge. Isaiah, three-pointer, the first of this classic, and the East leads by two. Johnson being rested. Tim Hardaway, who is uh, third in the balloting in the West Guard position. Oh, what a play! Drexler to Mullen. They're working together as if they have uh, been teammates for 10 years. You need to keep your eye on Chris Mullen. He moves so well without the basketball and in Don Nelson's system. Movement all the time. Break the defense down. Ewing against Robinson. Almost tipped in by Pippen. Malone rebounds. This is Drexler on the glide. Blocked by Ewing out of bounds to the west. Anytime the ball goes down to the low post, if you move without it, these type of players with their skills and ability will find you. Robinson has it taken away by Drexler. Tim Hardaway. What a feed to Robinson. West by two. Robinson now with five. Barkley and Drexler are the only starters who have not scored. They're hitting at about a 70% pace. Oh, Pippen, as uh, Coach Bach, who's on the bench for the East, said, and referring to Michael Jordan's stardom, Pippen's going to have his own cape pretty soon, if not already. His game just continues to improve, and... and one area you may not consider is the fact that he is the leading assist man in the NBA for forwards right now. Mark Price, number 25, comes into the Eastern lineup, and Isaiah Thomas given a breather. Brad Doherty makes his first appearance. Former North Carolina star, he's in for Ewing. 5.08 left in this opening quarter. East and West nodded at 23. Drexler. 
A three-pointer for the Portland Blazer Stars. Both of these came out, and this is unusual. They, they come out shooting as well as they did today. I think the transition game going helped these teams to run, loosen up quickly. Now they're making their perimeter shots as well. Barkley has to go off his fingertips to Malone, and Hardaway leads the break. Robinson to Malone. Big guy for the Utah Jazz, Carl Malone. Biggest lead of the game. Five-point advantage for the West, and Jordan can't connect. Bodies colliding on that one. Drexler, he almost heard Jordan. You could hear one of his teammates saying, watch your back. And Drexler put it in high gear. I'll tell you who may be enjoying this game as much as anyone is Don Nelson. When they run their passing game or get the transition thing going, he's over there on the sidelines smiling up and down, really happy with it. Doherty, Robinson might have gotten a piece of that pass, and it goes through Doherty's fingertips. There are runners and there are flyers. This guy does it both. Hakeem Olajuwon from... The Houston Rockets in for the first time for the West, and uh, Don Nelson also sends in Dikembe Mutombo for the first time. 7-0 unanswered run for the West, and Drexler hits another three, and the West explodes to a 10-point lead. Cl Clyde just sending a message over to Don Nelson. Next time you play me, don't back off me. Pippen forcing one, and there's Malone to collect. Hardaway on a three-on-two. Drexler again, and Clyde Drexler leads all scorers with 10. 12-point lead as the West building up a big advantage here in the late uh, going of the first quarter. Barkley and Malone shoulder to shoulder, and it's uh, Malone with the foul as Joe Dumars, the Piston star, comes in. After this fast break right here, the guy filling on the other lane is Chris Mullen. Instead, Hardaway goes to Drexler, and Don Nelson kind of shook his head back and forth as if to say, no, 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 Tim, Mullen's on our team. That's the guy to take care of during the regular season. Michael Jordan on the bench. That was Drexler deflecting, and then he got a piece of the ball again. Oh, he is such a complete player, Clyde Drexler, who has been the spark in this 12-0 run. And not on the Olympic team. We'll uh, be dealing with that and other issues, especially at halftime, a whole U.S. Olympic report of these uh, NBA stars. 3.13 left in the first. You might have one or two problems with the sound quality coming to you from the Orlando Arena. Are you surprised at the uh, West lead? Oh, not at all, because once they get that game going, they can really do it. And as we said, they've got the running team in. When the running team's in, they can rack up a lot of points. Into the offensive end. It's Hardaway. And boy, they've made six straight shots. They're shooting almost 80%. 15 for 19. The East has shot 64%. And trail now by 14. Oops. I almost turned it over. It's Robin Price. Pippen still in. The only starter. Doherty and Dumars for the East. Price, the Cleveland Cavaliers star. Doherty follows, so the Cavs connect. One of the things that Phil Jackson said yesterday is I really would like to play combinations together. We've got two Cleveland Cavaliers, three Detroit Pistons out here. It may make a difference. Drexler's three, way over the mark. And Drexler falls out of bounds. Has to be helped up by the official. At the other end is Scotty Pippen. Well, for someone that doesn't really know the other guy that well, that timing was about as good as it could be on the lob for Mark Price to Pippen. Drexler to Hardaway to Malone. Carl Malone, he now has eight. Dumars around Hornacek. Price with Hardaway. 
Rejected by Elijah Wan and a foul. Let's go back to Scotty Pippen on that long set of pass as Magic returns. It's just a matter of eye contact, seeing the floor, and then having someone at the end like a Scotty Pippen that can go up, catch, and convert. West Magic Johnson. Drexler out as Magic Johnson returns. Coach Don Nelson said he might play him at four different positions today. Reggie Lewis, number 35 from the Boston Celtics, his first all-star appearance. Pippen goes out. Mark Price with his second free toss. He makes them both. He's best in the league from the line, and it's a 10-point lead for the West. Imagine shooting over 95% from the free throw line. Elijah Wan's first shot is a little short. Rodman, who leads the league in rebounds, has his first today, and Dumars, his teammate with the Pistons, out to Rodman. So we have three Pistons on the floor. The only team with three in the game. Reggie Lewis, Malone, another board. Magic sets up Hornacek. Johnson rebounds to Elijah on handcuffed him. Hardaway for three. Rodman another rebound. He's averaging over 18 a game. Reggie Lewis just did not have the angle that time to find Dennis Rodman. I think a little bit surprised when he realized that Rodman had gotten the rebound, kicked it to him, and was filling the lane. That's how quick Dennis Rodman is. Otis Thorpe of the Rockets makes his first appearance for Carl Malone. Let's go to Ahmad. Yeah, I have to, I have to pick him up first. I have to pick him up first because he's not. Magic! Magic Johnson credited with a tip. This is what Magic playing. Everybody's a little pumped up, especially that West team. And I think that we got the well of the storm early. But you know he's going to be into the game and the crowd's pulling for the West, so we got to keep him coming down a little bit. And seeing that you were MVP last year, you haven't yet got warmed up, have you? Uh, I'm cruising this year. <laughs> I've got one MVP. I don't have to kill myself anymore. <laughs> All right. Back to you, Dick. Barkley, who had an ankle injury, remember, last year and said he didn't want to play. The NBA office convinced him he should, and he collected 17 points and 22 rebounds and the MVP award. And then the uh, commissioner thanked him for deciding to show up. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Charles. They're going to have some etiquette uh, lessons, are they not, before they go to Barcelona? Well, I'm sure there'll be a number of seminars by the Olympic Committee uh, making our players aware of the fact certain customs by other countries and uh, how we would like to be represented. Jeff Hornacek from downtown hits the tray, his first points. And the West in the final seconds of this first quarter have a 13-point lead. Price around Hardaway. Stolen by Magic. Hornacek. Magic says, we'll take the last shot. Fans are saying, shoot. Hornacek, 14 seconds, a shot clock and game clock almost identical. Elijah Wan with five, four. Rebound Doherty with one. Not in time. Dumars did not get it off in time. And that ends a high scoring as expected first quarter with the West dominating 44-31. And Magic leading the way four for five and ten points for the West. Can't touch this. Jordan in deep on Elo. Touch this. Drexler. Oh, my, 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 my. my. Johnson with 10 points, Clyde Drexler also of the West with 10 points. How's it shaping up, Mike? And the East is having trouble matching up, and that's what the real problem is. You saw Mark Price come in and try to take the ball to the hoop himself, try to make things happen, but otherwise they're really having trouble keeping up with Magic, Drexler, Mullen, Malone, all running down the court. Then the second wave came in, Hardaway, Hornacek. Now you'll have Stockton bringing the ball up. New guys, they'll just keep running. Twenty-nine more points today. 
So the influence of Isaiah Magic uh, has been felt. Price with Hornacek. Good give and go, and Rodman scores. Timing execution that time. Rodman set the screen and then slipped it. Just as the defensive player tried to go over the top, he was gone. Price delivered on time. First points for Dennis Rodman all alone at the other end is Otis Thorpe, his first points. Akeem Olajuwon looking for a teammate, Otis Thorpe. They've done that a few times during the regular season. Joe Dumars for two. His first points of the game. Now everyone getting in the book. Now Magic working on uh, Reggie Lewis, and he is fouled. First on Lewis. Just Let's a moment back. ago at the eastern end of the floor. Sometimes you hold the screen a long time here. Rodman slips it quick, and there's the opening. You only have a second to deliver, and then you have to finish with a guy like Elijah on flying at you. Magic Johnson wearing his age on his uniform. A young 32. Didn't get the supreme uh, farewell tour that Dr. J and Kareem did uh, more for the fans and themselves. I know it became tiring for, for the player. Magic, in many ways, is uh, bundling all that up into one afternoon today in Orlando and then in Barcelona next summer. Price for three. Rodman, an offensive rebound, kept it alive for Doherty. Rodman can't hit. Still alive for Lewis. You have a couple live bodies on the glass for the East. Reggie Lewis, Dennis Rodman. And Tim Hardaway, the little guy from UTEP. And the Golden State Warriors. He's got some terrific numbers, Hardaway. When you compare what he's done his first couple, three years with that of Magic Johnson, it's really impressive. Brad Doherty from Black Mountain, North Carolina. Doherty, number 43, has his fourth points. Hardaway hits again. 53-39, the West. Seven for Hardaway. Lewis to Doherty over Elijah Wan. A scoring fest in Orlando. Even though it's an all-star game, you're seeing some outstanding basketball being played. Magic Johnson! Oh, he is really sharp for someone who hasn't played at the competitive level. He's worked out considerably, but he's a razor game sharp. I don't think Magic has ever tried to fool himself. He understands what shape he's in and is getting after it. Rodman with one of his specialties, the offensive rebound. He now has four. West by a dozen. Hardaway almost threw that one in as he was fouled by Mark Price. And we have an official's timeout. 9.20 left in the first half. And here's Urban Johnson. Some of the magic that we've watched since 79 at Michigan State. And uh, he's having a tremendous. He looks. He looks great. And Dennis. Dennis Rodman is coming in and looking good. Rodman is a six-eight forward who leads the NBA in rebounds. He's averaging 18 rebounds a game. Numbers nobody's put up since the days of Bill Russell, Wilt Chamberlain, Moses Malone. He just has his instinct for the ball. When he and Magic are one-on-one, -on -one, you've got the best offense against defensive combination you'll, you'll ever see. The only two guys in the league who can legitimately guard any player in the league. And for the East and White, Rodman, Lewis, Dumars, Doherty, and Kevin Willison, the Atlanta Hawk, for the first time. One of the problems with that last shot for the East was you had the number one and number two rebounders in the league. Rodman and Willis going after it. They wound up bumping into each other, knocking it out of bounds. Magic, that little bumping action technique of his. And he'll play a little two-man game with James Worthy. No, he'll say, I'll play it alone with a hooker. What you have right now is Magic moving into the power forward position, the big forward spot. Worthy playing the three spot. Hardaway one, Hornacek two. Magic leads all scores with 16. Kevin Willis, his first shot. Elijah Wan rebounds. Clears to Hardaway. Magic dishes off to Worthy, his first attempt. Rodman. Knocked 
knocked away by Elijah Wan. Now sliding up into the fourth position just creates a different problem for Dennis Rodman, one of the league's best defenders. Rodman against Magic. Magic shows him the hook. That's a long distance throw. John Stockton, the leading assist man in the NBA again this year from the Utah Jazz, makes his first appearance, and so does Dan Marley, the outstanding number six man of the Phoenix Suns. Magic Johnson goes out. Stockton picks up the loose ball. Off to his teammate, Jeff Hornacek. It was a walk-on at Iowa State, and now an NBA All-Star. So the West dominating here in the first half. Five on the shot clock. Three, Lewis. Nice patience that time by the Eastern team. Passing the ball around, a little ball movement. Eventually got a wide open shot. Worthy at the other end over Willis. Willis rebounds. And off the top of the head of Rodman to the west. Steve Jones is with us. All right, I'm over here with the heavy breathing Magic Johnson, but you wanted to have pace at the start of this game. Did you get it? Oh, yeah, we got good. I got good pace as an individual with the team, too, as well. Uh, I just wanted to get up and run down the quarter. You know, after all that's been going on this weekend, you just want to now get in the game. So, everything went well. I finally got a hoop to go down and then just start rolling from there. Hey, we got several hoops to go in, and everyone wants to know, is there any effect so far on you physically? Do you feel any different other than not being in game shape? No, you, you don't have to worry about that. Everything's all right. In game shape, I can, <laughs> I'm dying out there. <laughs> you know, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun, and uh, that's the key right there. I'm back with the fellas, and uh, it's great. All right, back to you, Dick. All right, Snapper. Snapper will be with us uh, next Sunday, as you see Kevin Willis attack one in. We'll be in Los Angeles at the Forum when Magic Johnson's number 32 will be retired. The Celtics will be in town against the Lakers. That's part of the doubleheader on NBC next Sunday. Worthy. A finger roll not there and the foul to Willis. Timeout East. East. Timeout. And a timeout by the Eastern All-Stars. The West leads by a dozen. 6.29 remaining in the first half. KJ shoots it from midcourt. Shazam! NBA action is fantastic! Tim Hardaway shooting from the outside. It, it's really tremendous basketball here. A lot of fun to watch. This might be the player that has missed Magic Johnson the most during the regular season. Field goal percentage way down. Uh, those easy scores that always came from those long Magic passes. Not there this year. MVP of the 88. NBA Finals has his first point. Jordan finally back in the game. He uh, was rested almost a full quarter. He comes out shooting. That's really made a big difference, him resting the whole quarter. Eight points for Jordan. John Stockton, Hornacek, Elijah on. Stockton against Adams and back outside with 10 on the shot clock, Hornacek. Dan Marley's first shot. Rodman another rebound. Adams knocked away by Marley and right back to little Michael, the shortest man on the court at 5'10", if that's all, has his fourth point. And the East pulls within nine. Elijah on around Willis and the big guy from Houston has his fourth. And that's a move that Kevin Willis has picked up, put into his repertoire, using it for the first time this season on a regular basis. Akeem said, remember, I'm the guy that showed it to you first. Adams doesn't get the three rebound worthy. Here's Stockton on the run. 
His first shot is short. Worthy trying to save out of bounds to the east. Let's go to Ahmad Rashad. All right, Dick. Isaiah, just like old time, Magic comes in the game. You take him to the hole. You go back on the other end, he takes you right back to the hole. Well, it's the fans game. We tried to get the fans involved right away. And then I wanted to show him that I still had it. And then I think he wanted to show me that he still had it. <laughs> All right, man. Good luck to you. Hey, Ahmad working on his Satchmo Armstrong voice. Dikembe Mutombo of the Denver Nuggets in the ball game has Stockton around Adams, knocked away, and Rodman comes up with it. And Don Rodman Nelson with... wants goal ten. His net ball was on the rim. Rodman has ten rebounds in this first half. Adams, who made the team when Larry Bird century denied him the chance to be here as a starter. With two seconds, Rodman. And there's the 24-second buzzer. Dennis not used to being that wide open facing the basket. And down at the other end, Don Nelson was complaining about this. In international competition, when it hits the rim, you can go up and take it off. But here, you can't do it. In the Olympic Games this summer, that all will go. Worthy against Rodman. Well done. Three points for Magic Johnson's teammate of the Lakers. Four minutes to go in the half. The West by 13. Dumars, no one there except Hornacek of the West. Matumbo! How Hornacek saw him coming down the floor, I'll never know, because he was a good eight yards behind him in transition, yet he knew that there was somebody in a blue shirt there. He found him. And it, here comes a young man from Georgetown and Zaire. You talk about trailers. This is the ultimate trailer. About two seconds behind, but finishing. Well, Tumbo came to Georgetown, couldn't speak English, learned English through French, one of five languages he speaks. When he came off the plane, John Thompson was there to greet him. Thompson didn't believe he was 7 2, and Dukembe told us when Coach Thompson saw me, he didn't bother to go anywhere near any bookstore. He said he got me a pair of tennis shoes. He said, I just want to see how you handle the basketball. Well, well John, being as smart as he is, he actually did is he sent a scout and said, Look, if this guy's really small, don't bring him around the gym or our offices, but if he's legit, bring him right over. That is Dikembe Mutombo's full name. He said he wants to see his name in lights. Boy, it's going to take a lot of neon. Uh, you go ahead and take it. You can pronounce it. <laughs> Three and a half to go. 68-53, the West leads. Kevin Willis, the jump hook. Marley has Mutombo to, uh, Mutombo to deal with and then throws it away. Come on. Hey, Dick, you know, I was just listening on that last huddle, and this is one of the few huddles you will ever sneak in and listen to in the NBA that nobody's listening. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody talking? Jordan stolen by Worthy, his former North Carolina teammate. There are a couple players in the league that you really fear throwing the ball back to the top of the circle if they're playing defense. One is Barkley, the other is James Worthy. Little Michael Adams, Isaiah, Adams with the big trees, and turns it over. Another run for the West. They've scored the last eight points. Throw it backwards. James will be there with those long arms, and then who's going to catch him? 17-point lead for the West. Went through Sally. Aguirre picks it up. And... Oh! It up. Jordan oh. John Mohawks in second half. Michael Jordan came flying out of the sky. NBA action. Get fan action. <laughs> Wilt with 23 points in a half, which is a record tied by Tom Chambers, and Magic has a shot at that. Here comes the West. Their biggest lead, 70 to 53. Stockton for three. 
John Stockton from Gonzaga, Spokane, Washington. They'll be cheering him up there at uh, the Jack and Dan's, his dad's uh, bar, where the fans watch his action with the Utah Jazz. West shooting 64%. Thomas can't hit. Rebound, Hornacek. Last touch by the East. 214 left in the half, and the West by 20. The only All Stars yet to score Charles Barkley and Dan Marley. Hornacek from the corner. Or oh, the West, did they come out with a hot hand? Well, they go back to practice yesterday where they went after it. They were very aggressive. They had it almost what we call full type practice and uh, showing up here in the first half. 65% shooting for the West. Michael Jordan over Marley. And Thomas. Basket interference. Offensive interference. Charles Barkley returns for the East. Kevin Willis out. I'm sure that for Don Nelson, this is a little bit unusual to see a team on the floor, the opposition smaller than his team. Right now, Phil Jackson saying we're going quick. Worthy got around Barkley, could not connect. Here comes Sir Charles the other way. The 76ers star. Eludes Stockton, goes around Hornacek. And it's finally picked off by Matumbo. Boy, Stockton, his quickness beat Michael Jordan, 77-53. Barkley in the crowd. Marley for the West. 15 unanswered points by the West to make that, well, Michael Adams, the shortest against the tallest, took it away from Matumbo. Hornacek left alone. All West in the first half, and we're in the final minute. Michael Jordan with Stockton. Eight on the shot clock. Adams is shy. Hornacek to Matumbo. Barkley with a rebound with 23 seconds left to go. The West with no idea in mind of pulling it out and eating some clock up. Let's score. Isaiah Thomas. And with just under six seconds left, the East finally gets a goal. Time for Marley. And he's off the rim at the end of the first half. The West led not only by the play of Magic Johnson, but obviously emotionally spurred by Magic's perhaps final ever NBA game. And they have dominated 79-55. Magic Johnson will play in Barcelona, he says. U.S. Olympic team. But there's much more to cover about our Olympians in the games in Spain next summer. And that will be the topic of our halftime report. Stay with us. It's all West and Magic, the first half. A little bit differently when you're sitting for a while and then come in and start to play. But one thing you can count on, the East team will not be very happy about the fact that they're being embarrassed right now. They'll make a strong comeback. The starters go at the top of the second half here. That means Ewing, Jordan, Pippen, Isaiah, and Barkley on the floor. And for the West in blue, Malone, Robinson, Mullen, Drexler, and Magic. Some might say, Mike Fratello, that the East, as Barkley guns a three and way off the mark, that the East 
caught up in the spirit of magic, perhaps saying, hey, let, let magic and the West have their way. I don't agree with that at all. Right now, if you look at the statistics, uh, the West has just had a, a great afternoon shooting the basketball. And then look from behind the three-point line. They're making open shots. Uh, they've earned it. Robinson fouled by Patrick Ewing, his third. One of the favorite plays for David Robinson, that quick reverse down on the box where they like to throw the lob pass for the dunk. Mullen to score. Do the, uh, the officials in the game get full pay? I just wonder because they've called 11 fouls. I wonder if they're just kind of part-timing it. Well, they want to see what Magic's doing as well. They can't be blowing the whistle and watching at the same time, you know, enjoying it. Michael Jordan. He knows that sound. Ten for Jordan to lead the East. Magic loses the handle, and it's Scotty Pippen for the East. Oh, he runs like a quarter miler. Mullen to Magic, three on two. David Robinson and the foul. Talk about two big men getting out in front. Magic couldn't decide whether to give it to Carl Malone or the next guy coming down, who happened to be David Robinson, makes the decision here. I'll go to, uh, let me see, Robinson this time. A foul to the round man of rebound, Charles Barkley. Robinson, unhappy you heard his remarks as he missed that easy layup, and uh, Magic doesn't have an assist. 11 players on the... Uh, Check that 10 on the West having an assess. Magic's not one of them. He does have 16 points. Ewing powering in. Mullen hustles for the rebound. Magic the long pass to Drexler. Blind pass to Malone. Over Ewing. Carl Malone of Utah now has 10. Five for five from the floor for the mailman. A little thank you pass from Barkley to Michael. Ma a little bit of magic in Charles Barker that time behind the back, drops it off. Jordan going for the steal. Drexler with a drive. Yeah, remember what Magic told us last week, Clyde Drexler. When Portland figures out that he's the man to have the ball in the close games at the end, then the Blazers are really going to be the supreme challenger to the Chicago Bulls. 20-second timeout. And I think what happened just then is that Isaiah called the 20-second timeout. He's seen enough. With the ultimate finish, and uh, you know when that tongue, tongue is hanging, something bad is going to happen, and Michael is the one that is doing it. His idol, as he grew up, was David Thompson, who was a great star at North Carolina State, and David in the Legends game last night with a serious knee injury, and we hope he has a quick recovery. Ewing uh, fouled by Robinson, his first. Patrick Ewing, he was a member of the 84 U.S. Olympic team with Chris Mullen and Michael Jordan. And he's uh, been working out in the summer, last summer, day, four hours a day with uh, Dikembe Mutombo. And Mutombo really has credited him with helping his offensive game. Talked to him yesterday a little bit about the uh, start by the New York Knicks and uh, smiled and said, uh, yeah, but you know what? We still have a lot of doubters out there. They don't think we're for real. Matumbo rooting for his fellow Hoya pal, Patrick Ewing. Ewing from Jamaica, Matumbo from Zaire, Elijah Wan from Nigeria, the big men in this game. It's interesting, it's an international list of talent. Malone blocked by Ewing, but I believe Barkley got a piece early. Well, the game is wide open. When Magic pitches ahead and you get big men running the floor like this, Carl Malone makes it a little bit easier. Don Nelson, it's all smiles on that western sidelines. Malone wearing number 11. 
is uh, jersey number with Utah, number 32, and that's taken by Magic every year. He changes it. He wore four for Sloan, his coach, you know, seven for Pistol Pete in honor of Maravich. Frank Layden's high school number was 26. He wore 13th last year because he was the 13th player picked in his college draft and 11th because 11 today because he's number 11 on the U.S. Olympic team. That'll be the number he'll wear in Barcelona. Michael Jordan will wear number nine. Drexler, what an athlete, what an athlete, Clyde Drexler. When they're in full stride, it's tough to tell which one gains more ground, Drexler or Pippen. Isaiah unable to connect at the other end, Drexler with Mullen, Jordan back, Magic, there's the assist to Robinson. Davidson, I'll get that assist for you yet, here it is. Michael. That one didn't need any help. It trickled in, and Jordan leads the East with 14, but they trail by 31 points here with eight and a half to go in the third. Malone gets the assist to Robinson. It all starts with Magic going down to the box where he played for so long, the Laker team initiating the offense as a postman, and then it's just a matter of making the right decisions, passing the ball. Ewing, a little shuffle step, no whistle, and Johnson comes up with it. Here's Magic. Deflected and stolen by Isaiah. Jordan sets up Pippen and a foul, Robinson. That Pippen explodes to the hole. It's making the right decisions, finding the right people, and knowing who to give it to and when. That's a pretty good guy right there, David Robinson. When you have numbers and you fill and you play unselfishly, easy scores take place. Pippen converts the three-point play, and the East is within 30. Isaiah extending the defense for the East, trying to pick up Magic full court, pressure him, force some turnovers perhaps. Magic has to knocked away to the West with nine on the shot clock. Well, with Magic playing this well and showing that even though he's not, you know, one of the questions would, you know, it shows you're working out and you're running, but you're not playing competitively, showing that he still very much belongs, Laker fans are going to say, hey, why not? All-star time. You're getting ready for the Olympics. Why not play for the Lakers in the uh, playoffs? Drexler not there. I, I don't think anyone ever said that uh, when the HIV virus was detected that his skills had diminished in any way. The concern here is for the man's health, his well-being. And it'll all be based on what the medical people tell Magic, that if he's going to, that kind of stress and playoff action and travel is going to really create a problem in terms of years or days or even months lost on the back end of his life, then he'll be advised not to do it. Drexler at the end of the break, keyed by Magic. 96-66. Jordan, Drexler is whistled for the foul. A little bit of touch pass basketball, play unselfishly, give and go, get it back, makes it nice. Four passes, the ball didn't hit the floor. Green Sports coverage of the NBA All-Star Game coming to you live from the Orlando Arena in Florida. You saw that last, sorry, Mike. You saw that last, that last play with the touch pass, long pass from Magic Johnson, touch pass from Drexler, Mullen back with the other hand, back to Drexler. What makes that is the guys are running down the court. The West team is down the court before the East team almost every time. Oh. Turnover, and it's Michael Jordan's hands. Look at Ma Magic hawking Michael, and Ewing, uh, the beneficiary. Some hand-checking by 
Magic Chanti looked like a NHL hockey star trying to use that stick to slow down the man advancing the puck. Here comes uh, Zeke to Jordan who passed up the easy basket and Barkley misses the follow. Three on one. Carol Malone. Tip by Drexler and it almost went in. Thomas. Drexler. Magic to Mullen. That soft left hand of Chris Mullen, who has been the Warriors' leading scorer the last four years, leads again this year. He's number four in the league, in fact, over 26 a game. He's five for five. Thomas inside to score his ninth point. Isaiah Thomas and the Olympics. That perhaps is the most intriguing of all the possibilities. There's probably six players out here today that we could talk about that deserve a spot on that Olympic team. Jordan holding Elijah one, and that's a big guy to hold. Well, right here as Jordan brings it up for Magic, trying to wait, get, get back here, get, get back here. Trying to green fly him. And then Michael playing unselfish basketball finds Ewing. John Stockton now in for Magic. Elijah Wan unable to connect. Here's Barkley. 5-13 left in the third period. The West, two points from the century mark, leading by 28. Michael and Drexler, and that's a great one-on-one. -on -one. And Drexler usually scores right with Michael in the Bulls uh, Blazer matchups. Kiffin. And that was Elijah on. He had his hand almost up inside the basket to reject it. And, and Scotty Pippen was determined to put that thing down with his left hand. You talk about meeting some opposition. There it is right there in Akeem. Jordan. Pippen knocks it away from Stockton. Scotty Pippen. Won't fall. Elijah on the Mullen. Stolen by Jordan. That's why he's also one of the top defenders when they make the all NBA defensive team out each year. Mullen. Stockton unable to steal. Well, one thing he likes to do, Michael Jordan, is hang around for the outlet pass, kind of sneak in behind the offensive player when he's not looking, and as a result, picks up a few easy points. 16 now for Jordan to lead the East. And Isaiah has two more. He has his number, 11. Drexler so quickly with the answer at the other end. He has 18 now to lead the West. <laughs> How he got that basket up, switched hands, got it in off the glass with his left. Thomas rattles in his 13th, and it's 100 to 76. The West over the East with under four to go in the third period. Isaiah didn't get the foul, but he got the turnover, and here comes Michael. And Stockton a little too tight on the defense, and he has his first foul. His first 14 foul. Don Nelson getting ready to send James Worthy into the lineup. West Division, number 42. And here comes Worthy. the veteran Laker from Gastonia, North Carolina. Jordan and Sam Perkins, his teammates on that 82 Tar Heel National Championship team that beat Georgetown, the buzzer, who, who made the shot, the freshman Jordan. And the West a little bit better able to match up with this team on the floor that the East has. Speed and quickness to match. It's Drexler. Jordan tried to deny, and uh, Clyde Drexler saying, I'd look pretty good in a red, white, and blue USA uniform in Barcelona. Well, he was one of those six names. Uh, you know, take it easy, Clyde. Ewing is fouled. Daryl Garrison and Joe Crawford, Tommy Nunez are the officials in this 42nd All-Star Classic. Clyde Drexler, 20 points, 9 for 14, 10 points here in the third period. I, I just, uh, as a fan, I'm always delighted when I walk in an assignment and I see Clyde Drexler is playing. I just think he is, he doesn't get the publicity that some of those in major media areas do, but Drexler is just 
a phenomenally uh, entertaining guy to watch. Hey, it's going to be so difficult for the Olympic Selection Committee to decide who's going to fill those last two spots. Are they both collegians? Is it one pro, one collegiate player? When you talk about these people out here, how do you pick between a Thomas, Hornacek, Price, Dumas, Rodman, or Drexler? Stockton for three. Rodman with a rebound. He's in double figures, leads the way. Stolen by Stockton, one of the best in the league as he pickpocketed Isaiah Thomas. Seven for Stockton. Of it was uh, Isaiah against Stockton's team, the Jazz, that caught uh, a huge bump from Malone that sidelined him. Yeah. And many felt it was because Isaiah happened to tune him up for 44 points the game prior. Worthy from 20 feet has seven. Foul on Stockton. Quick hands, John Stockton. Third in the league. And picking up the free ball. John Star game. Very one-sided affair, but hugely entertaining, isn't it? Oh, as little Richard would say, wee -oo. I mean, We got uh, 20 points from Clyde Drexler and 18 from Michael Jordan. And we've heard a lot of talking about this Olympic team in Barcelona. And basically what's going on, 10 people have been chosen. David Robinson, Patrick Ewing, Larry Bird, Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, Chris Mullen, Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan, John Stockton, Magic Johnson. They figure one guy is going to come from college, Shaquille O'Neal probably, and there's probably one more spot for an NBA player, and that's what these guys are playing for. I think the uh, last thing Magic wants you to do is feel sorry for him, because he's playing his butt off. He's still the same Magic to me. All right, back to you, Dick. Yeah, thank you, Snapper. As Worthy gets it. In that conversation from Carl Malone, there is a good point made, and so often we want our stars not to lead to the point of desperation where we make them stay too long and they embarrass themselves. And there's a little bit in there, too. I think all of his friends in the NBA don't want Magic to play if he can't be at the top of his game. No, because you remember Magic for what he was and what he did for the game, and why should you think of him any other way other than the greatness that he has exhibited? Nothing to mar that today. As Stockton gets two more for the West. Nine for the Utah All-Star. Brad Doherty wearing number 43. That's after his idol, and he's not a basketball player. Drexler so outstanding in the open court. You let him run out. You have guys that can get the boards the way the Western Conference has done so far. You catch him one-on-one -on -one defensively, you're in a lot of trouble in the backcourt. Price goes off Hornacek. Price with that knee surgery of a year ago, still not 100%. That's direct to tell you, that guy, whoever gave him that nickname, that just is it. Perfect. Well, how many guys can go from half court to the basket in two dribbles and finish the play? Reggie Lewis. Rodman, I tell you what, a pretty good start on a 4x400 relay would be Clyde Drexler and Scottie Pippen. I mean, that, I would, I'd, I'd take that as my first two and a couple of physics majors, and you pick your four. And I'll tell you one other guy who I'd add to that team that's not playing today but was voted on this team, that's Dominique Wilkins. You should see him fly. 
Scotty Pippen on cue and rejected by Elijah Wan. Again by Elijah Wan, spoiling the fun for the East. Hakeem, second in the league in blocks this year to David Robinson. Just when you think that it's going to be easy and you're going to get a deuce, no. No way. We're not going to let you have it. Come try again. And I'll get a little help from my friend. Why Drexler helping out Akeem. Dominique Wilkins uh, voted to this all-star game is here in person with on crutches sitting over on the sidelines. Worthy. Good hands by Elijah on. Tim Hardaway. Three pointer for Hardaway and the West just keeps right on hitting. Wow. Two out of three from three point range for Hardaway. Have to start checking all the scores to see if this is the most lopsided. It's on its way to being one of the most one sided all star games ever. At this point a good chance with uh, just seconds remaining in the third period. Doherty stolen by Stockton. No mercy from the West. Doherty takes it right back to Price. Showing that once upon a time he would have been a great wide receiver. He's feisty enough. 115-83. 3, 2, 1. Hardaway. It counts if it goes. And that's the end of three. The West 115. The East 83. And Clyde Drexler missing only five out of 15 shots to lead the way with 22 points. <laughs> Don't be confused. Don't worry, you fans in Portland. That's just a borrow job, that Orlando Magic warm-up. Not, they're just not playing the same game, and that's it. Charles Barkley has not had a good game. They've gotten the ball to him underneath, but he hasn't been able to put it away. They haven't been able to move with the West. They haven't been able to match up with the West. Basically, I think the West was, came here ready to play. They jumped off to that big lead, and, and that was really all she wrote. Let's go back to the Orlando Arena. Oh, no, American commentary team. He now has 15. <laughs> 